This is an exercise about budgeting, which is something we all have to do. Jason has budgeted an average of $95 a month for entertainment. For the first five months of the year, he has spent $98, $89, $110, $85, and $83. How much can Jason spend in the sixth month without exceeding his average budget? Well, let's begin by familiarizing ourselves with the problem. We need to know how much Jason can spend in the sixth month and not exceed an average of spending uh, $95 a month for the period. So let's just let S be this amount. <clears throat> let's let S be the amount Jason can spend in the sixth month. The amount Jason can spend in the sixth month. Now we need to translate this to an equation or to an inequality and in this case we're going to translate to an inequality because um, he wants to spend no more than $95 a month on average so that, that tells us we have an inequality. And to do the translation um, we know that the average spending is to be no more than $95. Now, the average spending we find by adding the six amounts that will be spent and then dividing by the number of amounts, which is six. So the average spending is going to be 98 plus 89 plus 110 plus 85 plus 83, these are the amounts he has spent in the first five months, and then the amount that will be spent in the sixth month is S, and we divide this by six to find the average. So that's the way that we write the average spending. This is to be no more than, we translate no more than to be less than or equal to. It's $95 or less and $95 just translates to 95. So we have an inequality here that we need to solve now. And let's go to the next step in the process and do that. This is all over six. And we begin, first of all, by multiplying both sides of this inequality by six to clear the fractions. So I'd have six times this expression on the left-hand side and that is less than or equal to 6 times 95. Now when I multiply on the left, I'm just left with the numerator of this fraction, which is 98 plus 89 plus 110 plus 85 plus 83 plus S, and that is less than or equal to 6 times 95, which is 570. Now, when I add these five numbers together on the left-hand side, I get 465. So I have 465 plus S is less than or equal to 570. And finally, I can subtract 465 on both sides. And I get S is less than or equal to 105. So this is our possible solution. And the next thing we need to do is to check this in the original problem. It's the fourth step in our process. And let's just check by seeing if the answer seems reasonable. We can't check every possible answer. So as a partial check, let's just plug in the number that we found for S um, and the, if S were equal to that number and see if we get $95 for the spending. So in other words, we're looking at 98 plus 89 plus 110 plus 85, plus 83, plus the number that we just found, 105, all of that over 6, and we'll see what this is equal to. When I add in the numerator here, I get 570, so I have 570 over 6, and that is equal to 95. So I see that if, if he would spend $105 in the sixth month, his spending for the sixth month period would average $95, and then it just seems reasonable that if he spends less than $105 in the sixth month, his average spending will be less than 95 So the answer that we have found does seem reasonable, 
and we're ready to move on to the last step in the process, which is to state the result. We say Jason can spend no more than $105 in the sixth month. And we could also write it in terms of a solution set as the set of all S such that S is less than or equal to $105.